Hello, my name is Eric, and today I'm going to show you how to change the rotation on a PVWJ A-frame pump. The procedure is going to be the same for all PVWJ A-frames, so the PVWJ 011, the PVWJ 14, and the PVWJ 022. I'm going to start with a left-handed version. This is also called the clockwise, counterclockwise version. So on a PVWJ pump that's left-handed, the suction is always going to be on the bottom or the side opposite the control. The pressure port will be on the same side as the control. When we change the rotation to right-handed, those two port positions are going to change. So you can see on the right-handed version of the valve plate, the suction is at the top or control side, and the pressure port is opposite. When changing rotation, we cannot just rotate the valve plate. It will require sourcing of a new valve plate. Valve plates are left-handed or right-handed. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the valve plate on this left-handed pump. So we have four cap screws here, and we're going to loosen these evenly. And that, as we do that, it decompresses a small spring. And I like to rock the pumps up this way so the valve plate is facing upward. That way the weight of the rotating group holds everything in place. We take out our cap screws, remove the valve plate, and we're ready to install the right-handed valve plate. There's no need to change the swash block, change the control. It's simply a matter of changing the valve plate itself. There are two O-rings here to be concerned about. There's a high pressure O-ring and a lower pressure O-ring here sealing the case. Let's make sure that those are in their chamfers and correct. So we'll take our replacement valve plate, slide that on. I like to lubricate this face and this face with some of the fluid from the system. Put that on there, rock it a little bit so all the surfaces are lubricated. And then we can go ahead and evenly tighten our, our cap screws. So we'll evenly tighten our cap screws and the torque spec on these is 15 foot-pounds. Once we're done torquing the bolts, it's always a good idea to change the stamping on the name tag so that we know that the pump has been changed from a left-handed version to a right-handed version.